they saw. Dr. Hacken's hook still hanging from their car. So this really happened here in town? But I thought the sanatorium burned down. Did they ever catch him? Okay, my turn. Here's a ghost story for you. Hang on. I'm not finished yet. What? You just told the whole Hookman story. But my story isn't over yet. Ever hear the one about the babysitter? Who's that? Everyone's here, right? Ah! Susan! Susan! Sorry I'm late, girls. Anyone want a marshmallow fork? <laughs> As I was saying, this girl needed a recommendation for med school, so she took a job babysitting for a dean at her university. One letter from him, and she'd be able to go wherever she wanted. Are you sure about this? This place gives me the creeps. Stop it, Kate. You know I really need this. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Just sit around watching TV while the kiddos sleep. Easy money, right? But some kids can be a real nightmare. And here we are, we're with the second game in the Campfire Legends series. This one is called Babysitter. And we still have the same uh, girls having their little campfire chats. And it looks like we're off to the second story here. So why don't we have a little look around and see what we see. Ah, it's a dog. And I dropped my purse. Oh my god. That actually did startle me. My goodness. All right. So there we go. Way to make a first impression, Lisa. Oh great, I spilled my purse all over the place. Alright, well I might have to gather up all this stuff here. And tweak the uh, sound here at some point. Okay, cool. And I like the interface is actually the uh, same way as the first game. Well, there we go. There's our first, uh, what do they call it? A butterfly, I think is what it was? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, this is just like her luggage in the first game, which uh, if you haven't already seen it, there'll be a link down in the description below. The Hookman, which was the first game in the series, was uh, recorded already, and I actually enjoyed it. It was quite a different uh, style than what I'm used to, and that is a good thing. That really is a nice change of pace, and I'm really glad that uh, it was recommended to me try something a little different than what I'm used to. In fact, it's inspired me to even branch out into other uh, more adventure style games, so stay tuned for the channel for more of that. Looks like someone answered the door while I was prowling around on the lawn like a crazy woman. Hope they haven't called the police. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> You must be Lisa. You're right on time. Oh, sorry. I I'm a little jumpy tonight. I understand. The house can have that effect on people. The twins are in bed already. Hopefully you won't hear from them until morning. 
Lisa, there's something I didn't tell you on the phone. Oh? It's nothing, really. It's just... Libby has a rare skin disease. It's nothing to be concerned about. I just don't want you to be surprised when you see her. Oh. Uh, okay. Nothing you won't figure out, I'm sure. The number where you can reach us is on the coffee table in the living room. See you tomorrow. Uh, isn't your husband coming with you? Yes, of course. He's waiting in the car. Good night. All right, so we are inside the house, and well, see, she seemed really nice. Anyway, I need to unwind a bit before hitting the books. I bet these guys have a huge TV. I don't know if you noticed, but the security camera that did flash there, it had a year of 1987, and that kind of explains the uh, babysitter's uh, clothing, I guess you could say. Okay, let's go and get busy here and find out what exactly we are babysitting. I have a feeling that it's going to be creepy. That's just my prediction. I can already tell the music's all creepy. Oh no, you're punishing me. Don't do that. This would make a nice fruit bowl, I guess. That's a pretty nice tennis uh, racket over there. Don't see anything interesting right now. I'll probably have to come back here. Let's go to the living room. Aha! There's the old big TV. Look at this, and look at that. It looks like a... I don't know exactly what that looks like. 555-7896. Five, 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 I bet these folks have cable. Look at the uh, old-fashioned uh, telephone here. It's not working for some reason. There's my purse, I think. Or was that her purse? I don't remember. It's just a bunch of trash, really. Keys. Okay, well, I don't really see much here. Let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. Oh, wow, what a disaster. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. is all stuffed full of stuff. That's right. I said stuffed full of stuff. I see a kiwi and a red onion and grapes. and I don't know how you have a fridge like that. Look at another old-fashioned TV. Uh, sorts of stuff here. So I'm assuming we're going to have to come back here, so... Just kind of getting my bearing straight. That's the way this game works. I, I can't just click stuff and then it's like, oh, you're going to need this eventually. I can only click it when the game uh, is, triggers it with, via the game. It's kind of an interesting little mechanic. Better not wake up the kids. Let's go to the closet! For absolutely no random reason. Is this the library? It looks like the library. There's no reason to intrude there. Okay, well then what am I supposed to be doing then, folks? What's my goal? Watch TV. Okay, let's go watch TV then. Uh, remote. Turn it on. Power. Uh, change channel? 1-1. One, one. Nope. Grr, cable's out. There's got to be at least one channel that still has reception. Uh, how do I go channel up? How do I... Uh, how do I... Do I have to, like, jump? I'm not exactly sure what... Supposed to, I bet you it's the security camera, is my guess. Is this actually doing anything? I don't know what I'm doing. It's pushing every button. I don't get it! I can't get it. It won't let me switch channels. That's not very nice at all. Hint! What do you mean check all the channels? What the heck is that supposed to mean? I don't even know how to do it. Uh, I don't understand. How do I change the channel? I thought I did it already. Oh, okay. I don't...
What's wrong? She's scared of me. That's what's wrong. No, not at all. You girls just gave me a fright, that's all. We want some hot chocolate. No, we don't. Maggie's lying. We don't want any hot chocolate, and we don't want a babysitter. You should go now. Sorry, Libby. You're stuck with me until tomorrow morning when your parents get home. Hot chocolate it is. Our mom makes it from scratch. We don't want any hot chocolate. You need to go away. You know what? I'll make it just the way your mommy does. Oopsie daisy. Okay, there we go. Sometimes this game is just a little bit crazy. Find their family recipe for homemade cocoa. Okay, how do I... Does that just stay up there? I guess it does. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I'm still having issues with the cutscenes, and it only is an issue when I record, by the way. <laughs> Raw cutscenes on the hard drive because it comes pre-installed so I just patch them in and it's you guys barely notice so it's all good no need to worry where is the recipe for the hot cocoa that's a big cleaver is that what that is it's in the drawer no I need a recipe book don't I Stuff everywhere. Hmm. Is it in here, maybe? No. Nope. It's Halloween Bowl. That's excellent. Excellent. No, I did that already. I wish I had a sense of what exactly I'm looking for. And why the heck? I have to make it from scratch. So I've looked here. Uh, I've looked here. There's no recipe here. I've looked in the fridge. No recipe there. I've looked up in the pots and pans. No recipe here. I've looked in the cover, which is where I would have a recipe. If I was going to have a recipe, it would be in here. But I don't see a recipe in here either. I see, it almost looks like spam if I actually think about it. Uh, yeah. So no recipe there. That's great. These look like recipe things, but they're not. And here. Aha, there we go. Okay, hot cocoa. How hard can it be? Let's see. We need some cocoa, some sugar, some saucepan, and milk. And a Rubik's Cube. Yes, that's right. We need a Rubik's Cube. There's Mr. Milk. Uh, we need... What do we need? Sugar. And a pot. Mm. Pot's got to be up here. There's pot. Cocoa powder and sugar. Cocoa powder, we are in business. All right. Go to the stove. Let's put the stove right there. I don't know. I would put more milk in. Sugar and cocoa powder, and fire it up. The cocoa looks good and warm. Time to pour. And I need a teaspoon, do I? Oh, it has to be like a wooden one? Find the spoons for the mugs! Okay. Can I just pour it in without it? Yep. But now I need spoons. They would be near the sink if I had a spoon. I don't think that's the spoon we're looking for. This is not the droids we're looking for. Marshmallows too, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing we're gonna need marshmallows too. Uh, you guys see a spoon? Because I do not see a spoon. Why in the world would there be a spoon in the fridge? Although I do see a bottle of champagne. Aha, we're gonna have a party later. The babysitter is going to have a party. 
Uh, logic speaks volumes, and I can't find... In here, maybe. Aha! It's gotta be. No? Really? There's one. Please be in here. Please be in here. Why wouldn't it be in here? I don't even have any clues. I have to find it. Oven mitt. That's not what we need, either. Aw, oh, darn, I can't... Oh, yay, yay, phew! Good, good, good. Here we go. Here. You get a spoon. You get a spoon. <gasps> Jeez! Combs residence. Get out! What? <laughs> okay, okay. Very funny. Here's your hot chocolate. Now, off to bed with you.